This is the building. Hi, I'm Peggy Holman, and I'm going to attempt to describe a meta level of this collaborative budgeting process based on the story that we heard from John Kelly about uh, the work in, in uh, San Jose, California. And what we heard in him telling the story in terms of the patterns is um, uh, what goes into the prep itself is, is first off setting uh, uh, the clarity of intention around, um, and I would, I would partner appropriate boundaries with that around uh, the activity itself, which in this case was uh, the, the budgeting for uh, the, the, um, the city. And in terms of doing that, there, there was uh, a great deal of work that went into the preparedness around two particular dimensions. One, who was in the room, so bringing the whole constituency uh, with a focus on, on neighborhoods, I, I think I heard as, as the main area, and therefore who is invited, so being mindful about the quality of invitation and the nature of invitation. Uh, the other area was around being a high degree of specificity of the um, uh, the areas itself that the budgeting work was being done on. So for example, it wasn't generically a fire station or a library, it was this particular fire station and putting a dollar value on that particular fire station. So out of that, the preparedness, the doing the simplification, uh, picking the bite-sized pieces, um, and, and then having experts on tap once you are in the room. So, uh, which is part of the preparedness of who needs to be in the room so that as these tables of, of eight or so people are doing their work, if something comes up, the experts can be called in to provide information. So they become a resource to the process. Some of the assumptions behind the scenes that enable this process to work, I'd say a big one is this notion of power of constraints. Uh, limited number of dollars uh, and less dollars than there are things to be purchased uh, in terms of, of city services. Uh, transparency about the elements themselves, the quality of the listening that will go on in the table as people are bargaining. And it's not listening because they're told to listen well, but because uh, even with, with um, play money, uh, there's a reality to it. And this whole thing is grounded in that reality. That's, that would be an interesting one. I'm going to have you start going fast because I'm running out of battery. OK. So we won't have to go through each car, but let's get us through that kind of thinking process. Great. I'm, I'm almost done. Yeah. Oh, great. I think this is the essence of it. OK. And good. I would say we need a, a, a card that speaks to reality, grounded in reality, uh, because that was a really important element. The confidence that the conversations are going to be fractal, that I'm going to see patterns and themes across the many tables. Um, and I'm not sure what trajectory is. The, the assumption that you get towards a budget. You get to a budget. You have Got to get it. to a budget or you've lost your voice. Got it. And when, so if this is the setup, the, the rest of these cards here are really about descriptive of what shows up in the room when you've done your homework and done this prep. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you for starting us and telling us the story, John.